we have a plan for the whole planet, its future. We know how to serve people well. Let's start from climate change. Whether we think it's real or not, it's a risk we don't want to take. So, the answer is um, to open deserts for ocean. There are some uh, sub-sea level areas in uh, inlands that are not connected to the sea, so there is something in between that we can open. And with this uh, new area for sea, we can create a gigantic irrigation system and uh, turn our planet green. We still have uh, deserts, but uh, it will be a lot greener future, a lot more forest and so on. This also means that uh, global sea levels could drop by a couple meters in the next decades. That's about seven feet. And it means that we get a lot more land. We also cultivate um, more and we need uh, to renovate our harbors among other things. However, we also win and we win a lot more. For example, flooding and uh, thunderstorms and so on will be less of a problem. Our buildings in future define a lot how well are we doing economically. And the idea is to build high buildings and high density. So on a small area we build and this means that we need uh, less roads, less water pipes, less electricity lines, less time and this all saves our funds for business life and healthcare for example. And we can also uh, make small enough apartments so, so one home can be cabin type of apartment. There is just one room, it has bed and uh, since it's a high rise probably very nice views. And then uh, it has a bathroom with a shower and uh, possibility to wash clothes. However, the um, kitchen can be community kitchen. So, for example, in one floor there is one big kitchen that serves everyone. This is how it um, serves people best because they are very affordable. And it more or less can solve the homeless issue, among other things. So people have um, better chances to accommodate themselves to the cities and areas where they want to live. Our school system will change a lot because technological mind control has um, ability to produce what we know from our conscious. So for example reading a book will change in school a bit because we do not reread pages. It's just um, one page at a time. And um, well reading is an ability school will teach a lot of abilities in the future instead of uh, just knowledge and also creativity 
I show you a couple arts again. This is <laughs> quite large. I'm unsure if it shows well. It, here are some flowers, and in the background, it's like a bit similar structure structures to the antiquariat theme. And then some Finnish adventurers. Quite a few might recognize. I've done this art about 20 times, searching for the right setting. Background is created as a palm tree island. So in the future, creativity and ability will be the big things instead of just knowledge, which is managed by uh, computers. Then I think we can... Uh, employ those who are unemployed uh, to many types of jobs. For example, there are houses which are derelict. Uh, they have gone obsolete in use. We could clean the whole area so when uh, house is no longer in use and it's taxed, let's say, half of minimum wage in a month that's the annual tax of owning the house and its yard well this could be donated to government and then government uh, gets unemployed people to work and they clean the area we have peace principle it would be that uh, globally all men are obliged to stay defending peace, which means that uh, women and children are regarded as possible war refugees. Or maybe refugees in general too. And this is the best principle for peace we know. A lot to do, I can tell that. We also need to do this with force because when power is exercised, it uh, needs to have its history so that people understand that it's for the best of them. Okay, that's an update for now. Greetings from Drangheta, Satudarach, Bandidos, Marasalatrucha, and many others. Have a good one.